Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to fix Instagram on the Galaxy Fold 2. So a lot of you have had issues with it, but I can show you right here. It will have absolutely no problems once you have this set up. So let's go over it, shall we? First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download GoodLock. Now you can get this from the Galaxy Store just by searching for it. So go to the Galaxy Store. You have to have a Samsung account to use it. GoodLock, once you have it on here, open it up and you're gonna to wanna to do multiple things on here, but mainly multi-start is your first and foremost section. And then you're gonna find the section, I love Galaxy Foldable. This is designed specifically for this device. So first off, always show an app when in full screen and unfolding. You're going to want to change every app that you want to transition on, on. So every app that you care about that transforms, I have a good amount of them selected. One of them, of course, is Instagram. So that is the first part. Then you can change the aspect ratio if you want a specific aspect ratio. I just leave it determined default, but you can change it to what you want to. Okay, then we're going to move and continue all apps to the front screen. This is really important because that way you're actually able to actually transition to the front screen just like you're able to transition to the opening. This is something that I think should have been on by default, but you can turn it on here. And you can also stop it from turning off when you close it. That is one thing that I did not like that I immediately turned off. Then you're going to want to turn off enable multi window for all apps. Also, I'd recommend multi uh, window zoom. Now when you turn this one on, you will have to restart your phone. So just wanted to let you know that part. And then once you have that, what it also allows you to do is then have both apps be completely open at the same time. So it's really great because that way you have your Instagram there and YouTube or whatever you want. You can make shortcuts obviously just by tapping it here and adding it. But this is a really great way to make Instagram work for you perfectly, simply and easy. You don't have any issues with it once you have that. So I really do love it. Hopefully this helps you out and helps all those people that were having issues with Instagram make it work. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.